looks like a tasty, nourishing breakfast bowl. That's for sure. Right now I'm currently in Vermont. I passed over from New York a couple days ago now. And we are officially in Vermont. So this is actually where I camped out last night. And so far from what I've seen of Vermont, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's these charming little towns nestled in the middle of the forest that you just randomly drive into. And they're quaint and they're welcoming and everything is just so cozy. Uh, and as you could tell, it's very pretty as well. For the first time on this trip, I've actually run out of propane, which is pretty impressive. I got my propane filled up quite a while before I even left on this trip. And only, as you can see, I don't know how well you could tell, but I actually have two propane tanks. This one ran out, but I still have one more completely full propane tank. And that's gonna last us probably for the rest of this trip since the first one lasted this long. I don't have much planned for today, so I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit longer, let the battery charge up. I'm probably gonna camp up here for the night again because there's really limited camping options out on the East Coast, at least from what I've seen so far. There's not much public lands, and I was actually camping with somebody last night, a subscriber, shout out to Jose if you're watching this, and he was confirming the fact that from his experience as well, there's just really not any public lands out east, especially public lands to go dispersed camp on. So that being said, I think I'm just gonna try to stick to this spot because I know that it's nice and I know that it works, but I do have to go get some more firewood. Unfortunately, there's a lot of wood to be harvested in this forest here, but I don't have any type of saw or anything to actually chop up the wood. So I'm gonna go into town, resupply on a few things, and then probably come back up here for the night.
I know that that definitely doesn't, it doesn't look too bad on camera because it never does, but that was a send. I was a little bit unsure if I was gonna make it up that or not. By far the diciest thing I've done with this big old rig. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. I'll tell you guys what, there is something truly special about an autumn fire. And to have one in a state and in a place as beautiful as this, right here in Vermont, these are the moments that make this road trip well worth it. All right, while that is reducing down to coals, I'm gonna go prepare some of the food that I'm gonna be putting onto the grill. I've got some chicken thighs. Um, these are bone in, skin on chicken thighs. So I'm gonna season the chicken with this spice mixture. In the spice mixture, I have salt, cumin, smoked paprika, coriander, cinnamon, um, and red pepper flakes. bit of olive oil on them before they go onto the grill. Ooh, yeah. So I'm not actually gonna fully cook the chicken on the grill here. After I get some of the smoky charred flavors developed, over the fire. I'm gonna go inside and finish it off in the oven because I have a few more ingredients that I wanna mix with the chicken and we're just gonna put all of that into the oven. It's gonna be delicious. But for now, let's just keep an eye on this, make sure it doesn't get too charred, which if I'm being honest, it did get pretty charred at first when I stepped away because the fire picked up. But it's still gonna be really delicious. That's for sure. these have enough smoky charred flavor. Now they're ready to be finished off in the oven. Into the oven she goes. To go with the chicken, I'm also gonna make this rice orzo pilaf. So ready to eat this smells amazing now I know that the fire kind of kind of made the chicken turn a little bit funny looking but nonetheless it 
it looks delicious. And the onions got a little bit crispy, not to worry. I like crispy onions. All right, let's just dig right into this chicken. Oh, 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 oh. that is good, oh my goodness. I honestly love having the onion, or the onion. I love having having the oven in here. The oven really opens up the world of possibilities for what you could cook in here. That was yummy. Now I'm gonna go outside and enjoy the fire. I don't know if you guys could hear it right now, but it started raining pretty, pretty hard. So I had to come in, unfortunately, right in the middle of the fire. I was out there for a good little while though. It's pretty brisk in here right now too. Let's get the heater going. Tonight, I'm gonna try out my shower for the first time. Now, I haven't used it yet because, I don't know, it's just like so small and crammed in the bathroom and, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't tried it out yet, but I have it, so I might as well give it a shot. And plus, I'm starting to get to that point where I could probably use a shower. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. That's hot. Okay, that was, uh, that wasn't too bad. That was not too shabby at all. It was a little bit close quarters, of course. Um, so it took a little bit of finesse, but I think with a little bit of practice, a little bit of strategizing, this can this can really work. The water was nice and hot. Um, the temperature regulation was a little bit tricky, um, but overall, solid. I feel a lot cleaner. Definitely wouldn't fully replace like actual showers. It would be nice to do a full shower at the gym, but this is a good supplemental way to just stay a little bit fresher and a little bit cleaner um, in between full showers. Ah, oh, feels good to be nice and semi-clean going to bed. <sighs> good night. It's a sad morning, y'all. I've run out of my normal coffee and instead I'm gonna have to revert to instant coffee. Woo! It's not horrible for instant coffee. All right, folks, I'm just gonna end this one here. I'm actually gonna head into town right now to get a bunch of chores done. I've gotta do laundry, fill up water, empty tanks, yada, yada, yada. So this is where I leave ya. Thanks like always for watching. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Go on adventures, live life, beat the status quo. You all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon in the next one.